hope to allow him to see that, you know, we're just guys out there, men and women, just trying to do our job and, and uh, enforce the rules at, as have been prescribed to us by the NBA with no emotion and no bias, and I hope he's able to see that. My name's Mac. Nice My to name meet is you. Mark. Nice to meet you. Hi, Mark. In regards to continuation, mm -hmm. and, and oh, last good. night was was a perfect example yeah. of um, Kyle Anderson in the fourth. I think a, a, about a minute left or, or two minutes, something, oh. something in the last the last few minutes. Kyle Anderson throws up, you know, yes. throws up that two, and it goes yeah. in after being fouled, um, and the ref doesn't call yes. continuation. Let's look at it first. Let's look at it live, and then we'll look at it. Okay, now when we look at this play, we want to see that one is the contact happen before he begins his upper shooting motion. Okay, okay. Two, it's a, it's a take foul. So it's in the context in which he's doing it. Does he catch him or not? We'll see. Right. Let's see. And we're, gonna, we're slowing this down three times, and you tell when the contact, we'll, we'll pause it. Okay, so yeah, here it happens like right when he's receiving the ball. Still, the he's still bouncing, he still has yet to. Right. And, and now that was in super slow-mo, but when you, when you watch it in, in real time. Yeah, and, and I mean, yeah. slowing it down to, to slow-mo, you can definitely see where it happens, the foul happens before he's, he's he taking the So yeah. he, the foul happens on the, on the bounce, on the ball is yeah. being released going down, he now catches and goes up. And, goes up. and then, but now remember, the whistle's always gonna sound right now. Right, exactly, after the after the effect. And then the whistle, and then the basket. To yes. be completely honest, yeah. I would've thought that superstars do tend to get more of yeah. more of uh, of the calls yeah. than, than not. It's like last night, there's a play with Parker where he grabs a guy's shirt and then hits him across the arm. Right. And the whistle's blown. Here, here let, let, let's take that, yeah. let's, look at, let's look at that play. And then... And I was actually like, asked a question based off about of that, that play. About that play, sure. Yeah, yeah. I think it was uh, 320 it was in the third. The third, yeah. yeah. It's right there, okay, bingo. Right, so quickly bang, bang, sure. it looks like he just... Yeah. But look, but he grabs his shirt to pull it, to hit the ball. Now, one of the things I have to judge is, is the ball hit and does the ball, one of the context cues is the ball go straight down. So more than likely it was all ball. And what, and another thing, it's not as contentious as one with the lead. Too. Right. It's, a, it's emotional and players get emotional, but it's really not as contentious. What he said is I hit all ball and I said I 100% agree with you. But you slowed him down, you're able to get ball by pulling his jersey pulling and slowing jersey. him down. So in regards to this exact play, mm -hmm. I had yes. a question in regards sure. to um, to players that tend to receive more technicals, because on this play, Parker uh -huh. did receive a technical. Yes. And I can understand exactly why, yeah. because he, he threw himself on the floor. Yeah, yeah a little temper Yeah, a little, little, yeah, little temper exactly. Okay. But what about, you know, players like, mm -hmm. kind of become a little bit loud and, and right. they're, you know, right. loud out there, but he doesn't receive technicals. You, right. you know, sometimes he, he'll, he'll get a little bit crazy, he'll start yelling, right. he'll start, you know, bantering. But then it's something like this where, and I can I can yeah. understand this technical, yeah. but I mean, it feels like sometimes that the technicals are not consistent. Now right. you have to referee and 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 adjudicate or judge the respect for the game guidelines with empathy, compassion, and common sense. So one, you have to you have to expect a heat of the moment response right. because it's an emotional game. People are compete, competing at a high level. Uh, it's, it's very emotional. So you should you should expect an immediate heat of the moment response. Mm -hmm. That being said, it should not be overly demonstrative and it should not be prolonged. Right. And then we go back to Mac, what we said is some conversations from the outside appear to be way more contentious than they are. Mm -hmm. But our job is to redirect the player's focuses and the team's focus back to what? To competition. Right. Because uh, many times it's said, oh, but they're not here to watch you officiate. And that's a, and we don't want to be in the forefront. We want to be in the background. Right. But when we do come to the foreground, we have to redirect everybody's attention back. Because one thing we are certain of is that you do not pay your good money to watch players argue at me, right. with me. Right. You pay your good money to see them compete with each other and show their phenomenal skills. Mm -hmm. And so that's what we try to redirect back to. And when they are, when they lose their focus and unable to redirect, that's generally when you see a the technical text foul coming. So as it pertains to uh, a consistency of players, that it would be difficult to say that you don't do it regardless of personalities, right. because everybody's personality is different. You know? And would it also depend on, on how I guess the level of tolerance the ref can handle, you know, because I, I feel like that's I think a perception that it is, also. I think that there are, there are 64 of us and we have different personalities and what we are constantly and consistently working on is 
is taking the spectrum and shrinking it and everybody getting closer to the middle. Right. So maybe some of those that are more aggressive become less, some of the less become more. Right. So that there's a systematic and consistent um, adjudication of the rules and the guidelines that are that are set forth. Okay. So that's the that's the the ideal. Uh, now you can look at that from two sides. The, the fans in Golden State would say, always getting. They're always getting technicals. And, and then the other fans would right. say, oh my God, I can't believe what he gets away with. Right, it right. Really exactly. depends on the lens that you're looking. Right, through. exactly. I mean, and it goes those right back to the whole point of <laughs> the three referees are the only people who don't care. Well, I, I really appreciate right, this, Mark. Thanks, man. I mean, appreciate it's it. like Thank I said, you. it's it's a fantastic. Yeah. Uh, I, I feel it's a fantastic. Yeah. Endeavor to do this and kind of get a one on one with fans. Yeah. I mean, throughout the throughout the entire yeah, league. We're, so we're always available too. Yeah. I feel like coming here, the conversation was excellent, and I feel like I I've grew a much 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 greater appreciation for what they do um, as opposed to what I what I had before. I think it went well. I think uh, he was balanced in his questions and concerns, and uh, they were legitimate, and I hope that we were able to answer them. With, with social media, I feel like you get the worst of people and you get the best of people sometimes. And um, so with that being said, of course, a lot of my friends, you know, I had mentioned the fact that I was going to come on and, and, and do this, and, and they are like, that's amazing. And some of them were like, you know, dropping, dropping some, again, choice words. And I was like, well, I can't necessarily say that on camera, but I can kind of adjust that to, to being a little more professional um, and a little bit more camera friendly. And so I, I, I got through the questions that I wanted to get through and um, I feel like they would be, they would enjoy the conversation that I had. Well, we get how people get emotionally attached to them we completely because our league does do a lot and our teams do do a lot. Spurs do a lot in this community, so we see how people are emotionally attached. So him to be able to emotionally detach from that and just objectively look at the plays and ask his questions, I thought it went well.